little heavy-hearted this morning. I've made comments several times over the last uh, two or three months about how excited I get when Liz comes in and starts talking about football <laughs> before I ever start talking about football. One of the reasons is because she has uh, really gotten attached to the Kelsey brothers. Even before Taylor was in the picture, you were digging on Travis and Jason Kelsey the brothers played the Super Bowl last year. That was kind of when you kind of, mm-hmm. as I remember it, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. That was kind of when you started getting involved and you started listening to their podcast. And and I watched Jason Kelsey's documentary on Amazon and yeah. then I loved him even more. So, yes, I do love the Kelsey brothers. Well, breaking news this morning, in case you hadn't heard it, Jason Kelsey is going to retire. There had been some talk that maybe that was going to happen. In fact, there was some talk that maybe he was going to do it last year. Mm-hmm. But uh, the news this morning from ESPN, six-time All-Pro and future Hall of Fame center Jason Kelsey told his Eagles teammates in Monday night's post-game locker room that he is retiring, according to uh, Adam Schiff. So, a little sad news for Elizabeth today. Very sad news. Partly because I'm losing a team that I can root for. I don't care about the Eagles other than Jason Kelsey. Right, so, right. bye-bye Eagles next year. <laughs> In fact, Liz, at some point early this morning, grabbed her computer and turned it around so she could show me a video. And it was uh, towards the end of the Eagles games, which the Eagles just got thumped the other yeah. night. And they catch Jason Kelsey kind of standing by himself with a look on his face that now, looking back on it, makes you think he knew he was going to retire and he realized this was his last time on a football field. Mm-hmm. And uh, it looked like he was getting a little bit emotional about it. Yeah. And as he was getting emotional, so was Liz. Yeah. And at one point, he even hugged his like offensive lineman coach or whatever. And yeah. it, was, it was so sweet. This man is beyond a teddy bear. Right. And just watching him... You, you can clearly see that he loves the game. Absolutely. And I feel like if his body allowed him, he would play for 20 more years. All right. Well, I would think that the good news, I don't know anything, but I would think the good news is he's still probably going to do the podcast. And, and he has he has emerged enough, I think, in the public eye, in uh, uh, in social consciousness, you know, pop culture, that he's probably not going away, going away. Yeah. So that's some good news. You'll, you'll still get the teddy bear aspect. That's true. <clears throat> And honestly, there's no need for you to be rooting for the Eagles anyway. So (laughs) that part of it I won't miss.